In the middle of the night, an obviously drunk Rick bursts into Morty's room and tells him he has a surprise to show him. While driving his newly built flying vehicle, Rick explains that he made a neutrino bomb, he has decided Earth needs a fresh start, and to that end, he wants to destroy humanity, planning to start over with Morty and Jessica as the new Adam and Eve. Morty tries to take control of the situation by taking the wheel of the vehicle. Rick eventually decides to land the vehicle, and when he does, he says it was all a test to get Morty to act more assertive. He passes out, and the bomb announces that it is armed and, presumably, activates. The next morning, Morty falls asleep at breakfast. His mother Beth is concerned, and Morty's older sister, Summer, explains that he was out with Grandpa Rick. This causes an argument between Jerry and his father-in-law. Rick points out that he thinks school is an utter waste of time, before leaving the room, he compliments the breakfast which his daughter Beth made, causing her to cry tears of joy and stop being angry with her father, much to her husband Jerry's annoyance. At school later that day, Mr. Goldenfold administers a math test, and Morty falls asleep, sinking into a dream filled with numbers. The dream quickly, however, evolves into a sexual encounter with Jessica, in which she asks him to play with her exposed breasts. Mr. Goldenfold unwittingly finds himself on the receiving end of Morty's subconscious fantasy. Later, Morty is accosted by a bully named Frank, appearing out of nowhere, Rick uses a freeze ray to stop him and convinces Morty to skip history because he needs an extra pair of hands in another dimension. Rick and Morty then leave school, leaving Frank frozen and teetering in the hallway. Walking by, and not realizing that he is frozen or just doesn't care, Summer tries to impress Frank, but the front of his foot cracks, and he topples, shattering into pieces on the floor as Summer screams. In an alleyway, Rick opens a portal in a wall, and Rick and Morty both step into it, emerging onto a hillside in a colorful and oddly shaped world. Rick tells an awestruck Morty that they are in Dimension 35C, and explains that he needs mega seeds from megatrees for his research. When Morty expresses his anxiety about the strange situation, Rick tries to calm Morty down with a speech about facing your fears, but he is suddenly interrupted by a strange arachnid-like beast which chases them as Rick openly proclaims that he has never seen anything like it before and that they are going to die. After escaping the monster and passing by several other monsters, Rick interrupts another set of objections by Morty, directing Morty's attention to a grove of megatrees at the bottom of a steeply walled valley. After refusing to answer Morty as to what the nature of the mega seeds is, Rick gives Morty some grappling shoes with which to scale the wall. Morty steps over the edge and falls off the cliff, as Rick neglected to tell Morty to turn the shoes on. In Dimension 35C, Morty lies on the ground at the bottom of the cliff, his legs terribly broken in more than three places. As Rick lectures Morty on the folly of failing to turn on the shoes, Morty yells at Rick for his indifference, and for his singular focus on the mega seeds, rather than his injuries. Rick then leaves Morty, disappearing into a portal for a number of seconds before returning and injecting Morty's legs with a serum which cures Morty's broken legs. With his legs fully functional again, Morty uses his grappling shoes to get the mega fruit. Rick explains that he spent so much time in the alternate dimension that his portal gun has exhausted its charge. As Morty panics, Rick explains that they'll have to go through interdimensional customs and in order to keep the seeds hidden, Morty will have to hide the mega seeds deep up into his butthole. Morty objects, but Rick persists, as years of smuggling have rendered him unable to do the same. After reaching customs, Rick and Morty discovers that the insect security guards have a new machine that detects stuff all the way up in your butthole. Rick yells at Morty to run and pushes the guard to the ground, and they both make a break for it as the guards close in on them passing by various creatures from other dimensions. Rick destroys several things in the customs to slow security down and also assaults two aliens who are bystanders. Using the grappling shoes and other methods of avoidance, the two manage to get to a portal, but Rick has to enter the coordinates of their home dimension. As the guards begin to shoot at them, Rick tells Morty to shoot back at them, stating that they are robots. When Morty shoots one of the guards he finds that they are not robots but living insects, Rick explains that he was using a metaphor, the guards are bureaucrats and he does not respect them. Finishing the coordinate input, Rick pulls Morty through the portal into the school cafeteria. Beth and Jerry start moving Rick's stuff, all of which is in the garage, into a moving van, intending to move him into a nursing home. Rick argues with Beth and Jerry who reveals that Morty has a learning disability. Rick then asks Morty to state the square root of pi and the first law of thermodynamics, both of which he answers correctly. He explains that having adventures is the best way for Morty to learn, and tells that, later in his life, Morty will be doing amazing things as a result of their adventures. Jerry and Beth are happy to see that Morty is learning. Then Rick tells Morty that none of what he told his parents is true, his superintelligence is temporary, one of the side effects of the mega seeds breaking down in his rectal cavity. 
As the other side effects take hold of Morty, he loses his brain function and control over his body, and Rick starts rambling about the future adventures they will have. The episode ends with the garage door closing as Rick continues on rambling.